Today, I wanted to show you how you can create a post uh, with AI. So when you don't know what to talk about, you don't have any ideas, or when you just need uh, some quick options for your content, you can simply go to this section that it's called the post generator. And here you will find plenty of AI tools to help you with your content creation. So in this case, I wanted to show you uh, this feature that it's called from prompt where you can just simply type the, the kind of content that you want, the prompt that you want follower to write about and follower will provide you with, a, uh, with the text, with a complete post, not only the text, uh, this, what a complete post, it's a combination of the text and an image. Um, for the social network that you want. So I will ask follower to write about three tips on how to create a good sushi. Here, for example, you can also continue with the prompt and do it as specific as you want. For example, um, create a long blog post or um, you can ask uh, you can include the, um, the kind of tone that you want if you want the post to be um, in a friendly communication tone, a formal communication tone. Here you can put the prompt as specific as you want. Also, um, here you have different options or suggestions that follower will provide you. And if you want more, you can just click in here and follower will change the suggestions with uh, different ones. After you have uh, written your, um, your prompt, you will need to select for which channel you want the post to be created and also the kind of image that you want. Here you have three different types of images that I will use this video to show you which are these kind of images. So let us, for this case, follower to generate three posts. Um, here you will see that the first kind of image that is called creative image, um, they are like presets of templates where follower will fill the templates with your own colors, with your own um, logo, and also with information regarding the post that you are generating. In this case, for example, it will talk about sushi and follower. Here you have, for example, these are three presets templates um, that follower has provided you in this case. So for example, sushi tips, remember that the, um, the prompt that I put it that I wanted follower to provide me with three sushi tips. So in this case, uh, follower choose a template where it include um, a sushi image, the same in this case, and put some phrases like sushi tips or follower uh, master the art of sushi making. Um, this is just like um, the first version of a template um, in which then you can edit all things that you don't like or you can do it better if you want. So for example, let's say that you like this template and but you want to change some things because maybe you don't like the, that image or you want to include your own image or change the title. So you can just then click in here um, the editor button and then the open creative option. So that will open this Vista create editor. And in here you can change the image for the one that you want. You can change the, the text, for example, I don't know, instead of sushi tips, I don't know, I will put a sushi, just sushi, for example, if I don't want to include the logo, just simply erase it, you can change the um, the image, for example, I will put, I will search for something else, sushi. Let's say you like this one, you can just select this one or you can upload your own images in here. And after you you have, you have are done with all your the changes, simply click here where it says save and all the changes will be saved and you will see it in the in the post that you are creating. Here you are. 
And here you have all the three tips that Forward provide you. So once you finish, also you can, of course, you can edit all the text. You can use the editor features here to help you edit the content. Um, but once you finish, remember always to save the content. And once it is saved, it will be ready to be published or um, it will be ready also to be shelled in the calendar. So if I click here and I schedule it for Friday, let's say at 5, 5 p.m., just save it and then you will be able to see it in the calendar. So let's wait for a second. Looks like this image is very heavy. And once it is ready, you just go to the calendar. The post was uploaded successfully. And here you will see the post in the calendar. If you click in here, you will see that the post is published. It's set to be published in Instagram. So let's go back again to the, to the from prompt feature. And let's generate in this case an AI image. So you, I can type again, write uh, about three tips on how to create a good sushi. And in this case, I will ask the AI to provide me with an AI image. Again, in this case, I will just create only one image. Um, here you will see that the AI image is something creating 100% from AI. Uh, and most of the times are unique things that you won't find in other places. Um, we are using here DALI 3 uh, to create the images. And um, then I will leave you in the description a link to a article where you can find different prompts to use in here and different art styles to help you with your AI content creation. So for example, here is the, um, the AI image talking about uh, the three sushi tips. So here looks like follower created um, a person uh, creating with some sushi, uh, like a sushi man. So here we have also the three tips and you can, if you like it, you can just save it. Of course, again, if you want, uh, you can edit this image. You can click in here, open the creative, put some text in it, put the logo inside on top of the image. You can do whatever you want. And once you're ready, just click in save. And once it's saved, you will be able to schedule it in the calendar. But remember always to save it in order not to lose your content. So now that, that we have done, we, we have finished with the AI images, let's go to the last option that is stock images. So in this case, stock images are images um, that follower will choose from a stock library. Um, so let's do it again just to show you. Uh, write three tips on how to create a good sushi. And um, this case, follower will choose, I guess, something about sushi uh, from um, uh, a stock library with a lot of images. Well, here it's, it choose something, nothing to do about it. So what you can do is just erase it and ask follower to provide you with another stock image. Uh, but once uh, it is, once you you found the image that you like, you can just save it. Another option also is to upload an asset. Um, if you click here, you can just go to the stock image library and search for your own. For example, Sushiman. Let's see what what options do we have. I think maybe it. I need to erase that Sushiman. Okay, let's put sushi. And here we have a lot of sushi options. Here we have a sushi man as well. I will select this one. So once you found the image that you liked, simply again, save, and you can then shell it in the calendar.